Amsterdam offers an all-star cast and some excellent cinematography. It's an odd combination of screwball comedy and idealistic drama, a preposterous, sprawling, tall tale told by a talented director so caught up in his own creativity that he forgets that sometimes too much of a good thing can become a bad thing. Christian Bale as Ben and John David Washington as Harold meet in World War I. After both are seriously wounded, they are sent to Amsterdam where they're treated by Margot Robbie as Valerie, a nurse. We formed a pact and we swore to protect each other, no matter what. Jump ahead 15 years to New York City. Ben is a one-eyed plastic surgeon who treats mostly veterans. Harold is a lawyer who advocates for vets. And Valerie is more or less a prisoner of her eccentric brother, played by Rami Malek, and his wife, played by Anya Taylor-Joy. When their old general from the war dies suddenly, his daughter, played by Taylor Swift, thinks he was poisoned and asks Ben to do an autopsy. The bomber is coming for this. You better be here. Next, Ben and Harold witness a murder. You and Woodman fled the scene. The killer pointed at us. Why would you possibly think that was us? Well, there's not too many people that fit the description of a doctor looking for his eye on the ground with his black attorney. Things are already messy, but the complications are just beginning. Ben is assisted at the autopsy by Zoe Saldana as Irma. True love is based on choice, not need. Well, can it be both? I don't like to be alone. <gasps> that sounds like need. They find the general was indeed poisoned. This is all turning out to be a lot larger than any of us. These details only scratch the surface of the wacky, complicated plot, which centers on a military conspiracy to topple the American government. Amsterdam is a misfire by a very creative director, but I'm glad I went to see it. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.